Hey guys, what's going on? T Blake here. This morning on Twitter, I did some lookouts for people that were searching for the Year of the Horse, technically the Money Packet, also called the Chinese New Year, Nike SDs. Now, this is the first drop of the year, I believe, to start using the Tiffany Blue or Robin Egg color um, for the Nike SB box. Apart from that, everything's the same. They haven't changed the label. So, first impressions about the sneaker are that the materials they used would be that of a premium release. Um, very similar to the One Takes Fly in terms of quality on the suede, you have this lush, medium haired suede on the toe box. And this continues throughout the paneling along the sidewall. So the materials are you know, you know, second to none when it comes to what you're used to for Nike SPs. Those of you who are able to cop these and have them in hand in person already know this. But basically the sneaker kind of encompasses a lot of things that are very popular right now, albeit played out. So of course, obviously the all red everything. Granted that the Chinese New Year, red is a symbolic color for that. A lot of people think of Chinese New Year, they think of this red color. But Nike kept it with that whole sort of red thing. Very similar to the ring ceremony LeBron 10s and the fact that the only accents are gold. So you have that metallic gold backing the red swoosh here, as well as in the lining and that re reappears here across the tongue. Now I'm showing you the on feet. Corinne was nice enough to help me out with the on feet. These sneakers are still <laughs> way too big for her. I forgot that a size eight in women's and, and men's is not a size eight in women's, not that she's even a size eight. Um, but you can get a good look at that. Now, the last couple details I want to talk about is they use a San Francisco 49er stitching um, in gold to kind of round out the red that's on the midsole. And then my favorite part about the sneaker that they did extremely well, in my opinion, is the gold flecked translucent outsole. It's a huge selling point on the sneaker. That being said, I was unable to find, I was actually out looking for a size 12 and I bumped into a store that had a couple sizes left, so I picked them up. Um, I was running around to different stores. The guys at Orchard were able to get me one pair um, from that, so thank you guys very much. They had a really cool thing going on in store, the fact that they weren't sold out, so I was really thankful to them uh, for that and hooking me up. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want to check out the agenda stuff, that stuff's also up on my channel today, but I figured I'd get you guys a review as these drop today and hopefully win a couple of you guys over on it if you're on the fence and you can still get a hold of these. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. It goes a long way. Too late signing out. Peace, guys.